Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick little uh, introduction to sampling and how you guys can use it in your own productions and how I use it in my productions. Um, hopefully, you guys can pick something up and uh, and use it in your stuff. So, I just got myself a new drum machine and. Um, I really like the sound of the 808 bass, but I just didn't want it to be uh, a single note. So I've sampled out uh, a whole octave's worth of the, the 808 kick. And I want to put that into my own sampler and then be able to use that in my own productions. Uh, so this, as you can hear there, it's just each note from C sharp all the way through to C. And I'm also making this available on my SoundCloud as a WAV file so you guys can download this, cut it up into the regions and then put it into your own sampler. Uh, the link for it will be in the description. So the first way, if you've got Logic 9 that is, is to just select it all, right click, convert to sampler track. I know that it starts at C sharp so I've got that and then 808. Brings it up and there you go, there's the 808 there, nice and simple, um, everything works as it should do. What you can also do is come over to here, you can select pitch bend and then just to do something a little bit crazy with the sound that you can't usually get with it with an 808 is just to play around with some stuff and and then go into here change your pitch bend to 12 so there's some just really quick simple things you can do to the sound to, to change it up straight away and um, Obviously you also got all the tuning and stuff like that and all the envelopes so you can play around with those things. Delete that. Next one is to, if you've got Logic 8, is to just come down, select an EXS 24, select mono, edit, come down here, close this one. It's a little bit hard on the smaller screen. Select them all and then pull them down. I know that it starts at C sharp and it's a one note for each. Uh, and there you go. From there, all I would do is just change it off because um, I don't want it to play one whole note so that you can start to get things to overlap and it starts to get things muddy. I'll we'll just change it like that. Save it to 808, 6, close that, and then go open up this, we can and just drag it across, change the loop markers there. Mute the original samples and what we need to do is find, there they are, so got in A there, you can hear there it stops all of a sudden because I got one shot off. You can hear there it's playing the whole samples, but it has a tiny little click at the end. So this is where this comes in real handy is you could start to adjust the envelopes to change the sound up a little bit more. Take the attack off a little bit more to, to change the sound up again. And obviously you can play around with all the filters and stuff like that. Next up we have contact. So in this one you can see I've already mapped out 
the sounds there. So if I was to bring up contact here, I've just got uh, the starting one at C sharp. So if I go down and select all these samples, got them all there, drag them in. You can see that it's obviously taking up a lot more room. So if I just pull down on the mouse, I can change the amount of keys that each note crosses over. So I want it one note for each. So there you go, that's one way you can bring them into contact. Obviously there's lots more. Um, you can start adding effects. Uh, you can add like a global modulation, but then also you can go in on the wave editor, change your start and end point. You can, there's tons and tons of stuff you can do to the actual samples in there. Um, so yeah, this is just me showing you some different things you could do. Uh, one thing that I like to do, obviously this was a hardware synth here, being the drum machine, is um, I've got a little Korg Monotron, uh, sorry, Monotribe, and if I go into don't save that and I've got my monotribe here already saved so open that up and as you can see it sampled lots and lots of notes from all the way up there to actually that is being retarded so let's just go it again My tribe. There we go. And you can hear there that some of the notes it's playing two at once. It's a bass sound, so simply just bring down the voices to one. And that's where you can get that sound. So with this I don't have to worry about just using um the ribbon to, to sequence a pattern out and then to record it in, even though that's where most of the sort of creativity with the monotribe comes from. But this is a way that I can just use it as a simple instrument, um, pull it into my session, and if I want a bass sound, it's it can come straight up, put effects um, straight onto the sound. I don't have to worry about um, recording the audio in first. And get something sort of going. So there you go. Especially when you guys are getting uh, sample packs and stuff like that, there'll be lots of um, synths and stuff that will come as a multi sample. So feel free, pull them in, um, play around with the sounds get something new and then you can resample that back out into another instrument to save on your CPU you, in case you've got like five or six plugins stacked up here you can re-record that back out to audio cut it up and put it into a new sampler and then it will just cut down on um, all the CPU because all it is is just your sampler um, it, all it is is just one plugin playing samples as opposed to one plugin playing as well as 10 plugins on top of it to shape that sound. So this was just a real sort of down and dirty um, introduction to some things you can do with sampling. I'll have this, the link up for this um, WAV file so you guys can download that off my SoundCloud page and if you want to use an 808 bass in your own samples you can. Um, don't forget that my Remix LP is available. All you have to do is just go and click on my like on my Facebook. And with that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. 
um, my SoundCloud and my Facebook. All the support's really, um, really, really appreciated. And, and uh, if I know you guys are sort of enjoying the videos, I'll just keep making more and more. Until next time, see you later.